Welcome to Electricity Frenzy. I'm your host, an expert electrical engineer with extensive industry experience. Join me as I take you on an electrifying journey into the captivating world of electrical systems. In this episode, we delve into the crucial topic of cable derating factors, offering step-by-step calculations and valuable practical guidance. As a seasoned electrical engineer, I have acquired a wealth of knowledge, mastering the intricacies of electrical systems. I've also developed an Android app called Cables Tables to aid professionals in their cable selection process. You can find the link to the app in the video description. Get ready to expand your understanding of cable derating factors and gain insights into how to ensure safe and efficient electrical installations. Don't miss out on this enlightening episode of Electricity Frenzy. Let's dive in and explore the world of electrical systems together. What is cable derating? Derating factors for cables refer to the adjustment factors applied to the ampacity, current carrying capacity, of a cable based on various environmental and installation conditions. These factors ensure that the cable can safely handle the expected electrical load without exceeding its thermal limits. Here are some common derating factors for cables. 1. Ambient temperature. Cables are typically rated for a specific maximum ambient temperature, such as 90 degrees Celsius. If the actual ambient temperature exceeds this rating, the cable's ampacity needs to be derated. The derating factor depends on the specific cable type and insulation material. 2. Grouping of cables. When multiple cables are installed in close proximity, they can experience increased heat due to mutual heating effects. This requires derating the ampacity of the cables to prevent overheating. The derating factor depends on the spacing and arrangement of the cables. 3. Conduit or cable tray fill. When cables are installed in conduits or cable trays, the available space for heat dissipation may be limited. If the fill ratio exceeds recommended limits, the cable's ampacity must be derated accordingly. 4. Soil thermal resistivity. For underground cables, the thermal properties of the surrounding soil can affect their ampacity. Higher soil resistivity reduces the cable's ability to dissipate heat, requiring derating based on soil conditions. 5. Depth of burial. Buried cables are subject to different temperature profiles based on the depth of burial. Deeper burial depths may require derating due to increased soil temperature. 6. Thermal insulation. If cables are installed in areas with insulation materials or near heat sources, the thermal insulation can affect their ampacity. Derating factors are applied based on the specific insulation properties. It's important to note that derating factors can vary depending on the cable type, installation standards, and local regulations. Consulting relevant cable standards, manufacturer specifications, and electrical codes is essential to determine the appropriate derating factors for a specific cable installation. Importance of derating factors. A. Ensuring safety. Derating factors prevent cables from exceeding their thermal limits, minimizing the risk of overheating, insulation damage, and potential hazards. B. Considering environmental conditions. Derating factors account for factors such as ambient temperature, grouping of cables, conduit fill, soil thermal resistivity, and insulation properties. c. Complying with regulations. Derating factors are typically mandated by electrical codes and standards to ensure compliance and safe operation. Please take a moment to hit the like button below. Your support goes a long way in helping us create more valuable videos like this. Thanks for that. Derating factor of cable calculation example step by step. To illustrate the calculation of derating factors for cables, let's consider an example scenario where we need to derate the ampacity of a cable due to ambient temperature. Step 1. Determine the cable's maximum ampacity. Start by referring to the cable manufacturer's documentation or relevant standards to find the maximum ampacity rating for the cable under ideal conditions. For example, let's say the cable's maximum rated ampacity is 100A. Step 2. Determine the total derating factor to calculate the total derating factor for the cable. Consider the various cable laying conditions, such as burial depth, grouping, ambient temperature, and other relevant factors. Follow these steps. 1. Identify the derating factors. Refer to the relevant derating factor tables or guidelines for each specific condition. Obtain the derating factors associated with burial depth, grouping, ambient temperature, and any other applicable factors. 2. Multiply the derating factors. Multiply all the individual derating factors together to obtain the total derating factor. This step ensures that all the conditions affecting the cable's ampacity are accounted for. Total derating factor equals the multiply of all derating factors like, burial depth, derating factor for grouping, 
derating factor for ambient temperature and other relevant derating factors for example, if the derating factor for burial depth is 0.9, the derating factor for grouping is 0.8, the derating factor for ambient temperature is 0.7, and there are no other relevant factors, the calculation would be as follows. Total derating factor equals 0.9 by 0.8 by 0.7 equals 0.504. In this example, the total derating factor for the cable would be 0.504. Step 3, calculate the derated ampacity. Multiply the maximum ampacity, 100A, by the derating factor, 0.504, to obtain the derated ampacity. Derated ampacity equals maximum ampacity x derating factor equals 100A x 0.504 equals 50.4A in this example. The derating factor for ambient temperature of 40 degrees Celsius reduces the cable's ampacity from 100A to 50.4A. What to do if the cable size is inadequate for the load if the derated ampacity of the cable is lower than the load requirements? There are a few options you can consider. 1. Select a larger cable. If the derated ampacity is insufficient to handle the load, you can choose a cable with a higher ampacity rating. A larger cable will have a higher current carrying capacity and may be able to accommodate the load while considering the derating factors. 2. Adjust the load. If possible, you can evaluate if there are any ways to reduce the electrical load. This could involve redistributing the load among multiple circuits, optimizing equipment power consumption, or implementing energy-efficient measures. By decreasing the load, the cable's derated ampacity may be sufficient. 3. Change the installation conditions. Depending on the specific derating factor causing the ampacity reduction, you can modify the installation conditions to mitigate the impact. For example, if the derating is due to high ambient temperature, you can consider improving ventilation or cooling in the installation area to lower the temperature. 4. Seek professional guidance. If you encounter a situation where the derated ampacity does not meet the load requirements, it is advisable to consult with a qualified electrical engineer or a professional experienced in cable sizing and installation. They can assess the specific requirements and constraints of your situation and provide appropriate recommendations to ensure a safe and efficient electrical installation. Remember, electrical safety should always be a priority. It is crucial to ensure that the cable and its installation are capable of handling the anticipated load without exceeding their thermal limits to prevent overheating, insulation damage, and potential hazards. Should I do derating for the new cable too? Yes, derating factors should be applied to new cables as well. Derating factors are necessary to ensure the safe operation and longevity of the cables by accounting for various environmental and installation conditions. When selecting and sizing cables for a new installation, it's important to consider factors such as ambient temperature, cable grouping, conduit fill, soil conditions, and any other relevant derating factors specific to the installation. By applying the appropriate derating factors, you can determine the correct cable size and ensure that it can safely carry the expected electrical load. The specific derating factors to be applied will depend on the requirements and regulations in your region, as well as the specific conditions of the installation. It's recommended to consult relevant electrical codes, standards, and the manufacturer's documentation for the cable to determine the appropriate derating factors for your new cable installation. By properly considering derating factors during the design and installation process, you can ensure the reliability and safety of the electrical system. Conclusion Understanding derating factors is crucial for designing safe and efficient electrical systems. By applying the appropriate derating factors, you can ensure that cables can handle the anticipated load without exceeding their thermal limits. Remember to consult relevant codes, standards, and manufacturer's documentation to determine the specific derating factors for your cable installation. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Electricity Frenzy. Stay tuned for more electrifying content.